Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today for the Inktober 8th we will be painting some honey and for the supplies I will be using all the supplies I used previously also and all of them are listed in the description box so you can find it there if you want to check something out. I'm starting off with my sketch and first I drew the circle just to help myself determine the shape of my jar and then I drew a jar around it. I had to, well, I guess adjust a couple of things. So just looking from different corners, how it looks and is it somewhat, I guess, um, symmetrical on both sides and then just adding in honey and also I've added a little bit of the I guess some sort of a, a square for the for the reflection of the light and highlight and then I'm painting drawing honey hive on top of hanging on a branch and I will also be adding a couple of leaves on the branch and that's going to be my basic sketch after that, I am using this 01 ink pen from Micron to do the inking. First, I'm doing the basic inking, just going on top of the lines I drew with my pencil. And later on, I will be adding a bit more of the details. This is some honey, I guess, spillage. <laughs> And you can see that my lines again aren't clean and straight. I'm just doing them sketchy. And just uh, making them a little bit looser, I guess, that way. That's how I prefer it anyway. If you prefer, you can make them very clean and sharp. Also for the hive, I've drew I guess six or seven parts hopefully that's right <laughs> when I finish with basic sketch with basic inking I'm adding on top with this 005 ink pen again from Micron a bit more of the details some shading and using cross hatching and just almost like coloring on some parts I'm tilting my ink pen on the side to add a very, very light shading. And also for the hive, I'm not drawing the entire line for each part, but I'm leaving some parts white and adding a little bit more of the ink in some parts. So I think it would look a little bit nicer than just one straight line, a little bit more of the ink for the leaves also, for the veins. And you can see that not even my inking is super precise. This is just a loose, again, drawing and we do not have to be perfectly precise. Maybe those imperfections are the thing that just makes it ours. So when I was happy with the inking and the shading I will add on top some watercolors again using my sets of watercolors this is a dream set I'm using some sky blue and then some yellow for the honey and also a little bit of the leaf orange again for the honey and I'm mixing those colors right on my paper with this a little bit uh, smaller brush detail brush I'm adding in details with leaf orange and just layering the color on one on top of the other also for the honey hive I'm adding a little bit of the yellow on top this is now coffee brown from the cozy set. I'm adding that one on top. Some green, nature green from again autumn collection on 
my leaves and also I'm adding a little bit of orange leaf orange on the branch and some shading for the hive again you can use any watercolors you have they don't have to be exact same watercolors as I do have this is just a tiny bit of the black quite watered down where the shade shades are and a little bit more of the green some splatters of course with yellow and I've picked up a little bit of the water just to I guess spread those splatters and making it look a little bit more like uh, like some puddles on top I'm adding this time a little bit more of the sweet yellow mixed in with the leaf orange again splatters with leaf orange and when you're layering colors in watercolors it's just they are showing through one layer on top of the other and just gives more texture and more depth when this was dry I was looking at it and I wanted to add a little bit more of the ink in here and there my watercolors covered some of the ink so I decided to add a little bit more and I also decided to add a couple of more branches just with ink pen I'm not gonna go on top of them with watercolors and also I've added a little bit more of the shading a little bit more of the pigment here and there and this is going to be day 8 October 8 a little bit more of the inking <laughs> and with that I'll be finishing off this illustration and of course this video I guess you guys enjoyed it and find this interesting and something inspiring for you to do so hopefully you are also enjoying this inktober with me and if you do please hit the like button share it and comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that would be awesome all the real-time videos of the inktober are available for my channel members so if you want to become a channel members or just see how to become and the pricing there is a link in the description box so guys, thank you again so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!